Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a data scientist at DataCamp. DataCamp is an online data science school. Here, you'll take fun video lessons and solve interactive coding challenges, where you'll receive instant and detailed feedback. In this introduction to R for Finance course, you will learn the basics of data analysis in R, along with the common structures that are used to store data. Unique to this course, almost all examples will be related to finance allowing you to have concrete applications of the theory and ideas that you learn along the way. Great, now that the introduction is out of the way, it's time to get started with the basics. As you will soon learn, R can be used to perform mathematical calculations. An important component of R is the console. The R console is where you can execute R commands. In DataCamp's interactive interface, the console can be found here. Let's try to calculate the sum of 1 and 2. We simply type 1 plus 2 at the prompt and hit enter. R interprets what you typed and prints the result. Pretty cool, right? R is much more than just a fancy calculator. It is a powerful tool for doing statistical data analysis. One great feature for this is the ability to create variables, often also referred to as objects. Think of variables as containers to store your data for later use. After creating your variable, you can run other lines of code, and whenever you want to get your data back, you simply type the name of the variable you saved it in. To create a variable in R, use the less than sign followed by a dash. This operation is known as assignment. What would this example look like in the R console? Type my number, assign 5 to it, and press enter. When you want to access the data in my number, type in its name, press enter again, and R returns 5. As another example, assume your good friend Dan owes you $100. To keep track of this, you can create a variable named Dan and assign the value of 100 to it. If your other friend Rob owes you $50, you can repeat the process by creating a variable for Rob and assigning it 50. Suppose you want to calculate the total amount your two friends owe you. Luckily for you, in R you can perform calculations with variables. To calculate the total, just type Dan plus Rob. You could even assign this value to a new variable, total, to use later. Consider for a moment what would happen if you close out of the browser right now and came back later to the data campsite. The code that created all of those variables would be gone, right? Well, that's annoying. This is where R scripts come into play. An R script is simply a text file that holds lines of code and that can be saved and run in succession whenever you want. Let's write the code that has been run so far in an R script. Now you can run this code whenever you want. When you work through DataCamp exercises, you will write your answers in R scripts, and when you are finished, you will press the Submit Answer button. DataCamp's code wizard ch will check your answers for correctness, and you will receive personalized feedback on how you did. That seems like enough for now. Let's get going with your first interactive exercise.